Hi. Today I'm going to cover a bit about sleeping bags, caring for sleeping bags, caring for that piece of equipment that's the most, most important thing if you're out camping in the wild. And most people don't know how to take care of their sleeping bag. And it's nothing worse than buying a nice sleeping bag, uh, going camping, and when you go back, you don't really care, you just stuff your bag away, and next time you pick up, it's not the same, it's not worth the same thing, it's not working the same way. Um, today I brought a uh, sleeping bag filled with down. Basically, there are only two sorts of sleeping bags. There are ones filled with down, like this one, and there are the synthetic ones. I mean, the down ones are more expensive, but they, they keep the warmth better, and the, the, the fill, the loft inside, that's the puffiness, um, is usually better in a down uh, sleeping bag than the synthetic ones. The downside of the down is if it gets wet, it does, it's, u I mean, it's useless, you can't use it anymore. So the first thing to bear in mind is, when you go camping, make sure you're camping, uh, sleeping bag don't get wet. Even the moist from you breathing or the tent, if you sleep inside the tent, the moist that comes to the sleeping bag kills the down. So make sure that if it does happen, you dry it early, I mean truly in the air. Hang it out there, let it get some air, let, let it dry out truly. Don't ever put the bag down without having it air. The next thing, when you stow this away or pack it away, I mean, most people just take everything, it's nice and easy, and pack it and pull it up and down the uh, compressed sack. Don't. I mean, the loft will be ruined. I mean, and the loft is um, <clears throat> the measure of how warm this sack will keep you. And every time it's compressed, it's wet, it's uh, dirty or anything like that, you reduce the loft. Okay? So, when you get home, try to store it in a thick sack, like this. Maybe fold it nicely. Just make sure that it's, I mean, it's possible to still have some air and the fill is still working nice. The next thing is, if it gets dirty, don't use your washer unless it's really necessary. Take a brush, take a little bit of soap, water, whatever detergent, and brush it off first. I mean, see how much long you can get this way, because washing or dry cleaning will eventually reduce loft as well. This is just three basic rules of how to care about your sleeping bag. If you do this, you prolong the life of your sleeping bag. And I must say, my sleeping bag is the best piece when I'm out camping. Without this, I would not get a good night's sleep, and the next day would be crap. So make sure you take care of your sleeping bag.